I can. Here we go. So what I want to do is go through some of the new developments in the field of family and community engagement. And again, I have to say that a lot of this work is happening because you all are out there pushing and doing the good work. I know we have some folks in here who are also in the deputy superintendent type of role uh, at, in their districts, and they are doing a lot of very, very good work. So one of the first things I have seen uh, that is happening around the country, I'm getting a lot of phone calls, and I think some of you are as well, from foundations who are now seeing that family and community engagement is indeed the missing piece to a lot of the school reform narrative that's been out there for the last 10 years. So for example, some of you may know and may have actually applied for the new Kellogg grant that came out around fa about family and community engagement. I see people nodding their heads in the audience. Also, the Annie E. Casey Foundation. Ralph Smith is gonna be here a little later on. I'm not sure Ralph is here just yet, but he's gonna be talking about some of the work that's being done by Casey. They're also very interested in family engagement and have actually supported that for quite some time. The Packard Foundation also called me a couple of weeks ago, very interested in learning more about the link between family and community engagement and student improvement. So we're starting to see a lot of buzz around in the foundation world, and in fact, also the Flamboyant Foundation. Some of you who were at this conference last year saw a clip that I showed you of an academic parent-teacher team meeting that was being conducted at the Stanton Elementary School in Washington, D.C. Yay, woo-hoo! And what you saw was a really wonderful partnership between a foundation, community organizations, and the DC public schools. And so we are really seeing a lot of this movement now and it's very exciting. What else is happening? We now have, some of you remember NCPI, which was an organization that was run by many years by Sue Ferguson. And now Ann Henderson has been working with several of us to start a national organization, so it's called the National Partnership for Family, School, and Community Engagement. And guess what, here again, we've got support from another foundation, the Heising Simons Foundation. So Ann Henderson is sort of leading that charge and very exciting because we want this to be a national network of all types of stakeholders who are involved in this work. So parents, community-based organizations, foundations, districts, schools, you name it, teachers' organizations. So this would be a great way of sharing some of the research, sharing some of the best practice that is happening out there in the field. What else? We've had our third competition out of I3. And I think maybe, does anybody here apply for that family? Okay, great. DC is applied, I know that. So this is the third competition that's specifically focused on family engagement. Very excited about that. Decent dollars, finally, to help support this great work. And the idea between, behind the I3 grant is to try to seed promising practice, not best practice, because the idea behind I3 is to seed those developing ideas and strategies